Hello friends, myself Takshil Yadav. Today we are going to learn about the work. First of all, listen these sentences carefully. Takshil reads a book. Myra writes a novel. In these sentences, the words writes and reads. Tell us about the happening of an action. Now in the sentence, Takshil reads a book. We know that the word read tells us about the happening of the action of reading a book. And in the sentence, Myra writes a novel, the verb, the word writes tells us about the happening of the action of writing a novel. So from these sentences we can conclude that a verb is a word that is used to express some action, feeling or existence or and it is a word that tells us something about the subject in a sentence. It tells us about the work done by the subject in a sentence. It is also known as a action word or a doing word. Now it's types. A verb is basically divided into two types. Main, full, principal or lexical verb. And auxiliary or helping verb. <clears throat> if we go further, main verb is divided into finite and non-finite or infinite verb. And if we go even further, finite verbs are divided into transitive and intransitive verbs. And non-finite verbs are divided into infinitive, gerund and participle. Now, some little more about them. Main verb. It is the important verb in a sentence that shows the action of being a subject. It shows the action of being a subject it can be alone in a sentence or it can be accompanied by an auxiliary or a helping verb now auxiliary or helping verb auxiliary verbs are the verbs that work according to their name we know that the word helping is the process of doing help so these verbs help the main verb in forming tenses. They are in 24. They are 24 in number. And they are of two types. Primary and modal verbs. Modal auxiliaries. Primary auxiliaries are 11 in number. And modal auxiliaries are 13 in number. Primary auxiliaries. Some examples of primary auxiliaries are. Is. Am. Are. Was were, has, have, etc. And examples of modern auxiliaries are can, could, shall, should, may, might, will, would, and etc. Now, five types of main verb. Main verb is divided into finite and infinite or non-finite verb. Finite verb. The verb that is limited according to the number, person and tense of its subject is known as finite verb. Clear? And non-finite verbs are the verbs that do not change in a sentence according to the subjects, according to their subjects, number, person and tense. They are known as non-finite or infinite verbs. Now, types of finite verbs. Finite verbs are divided into transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. They are divided into transitive and intransitive verb. Now, transitive verb. The verb that needs an object to make its complete sense is known as a transitive verb. For example, if we see the sentence, the boy raises, it does not make complete
complete sense. We know it. But if we add the words, the boy raises his hand. This sentence makes complete sense. So the word, the hand that is added here can be the object or the complement. Now objects are of two types. Direct object and indirect object. Direct object tells us about a thing and indirect object tells us about a living thing. Direct tells us about no living and living and indirect tells us about living. Indirect tells us about living things. Now if you want to find out the object, now for example if you find if we want to find out the object in the sentence, the boy raises his hand. So we will ask by the question what or whom? And the question here will be the boy raises what and we will get the answer the hand. So the hand is the object here. But in the sentence, but there are many sentences who have either one object, it may be direct or indirect. But some sentences have both objects, direct and indirect object. Now for example, Tina gave Sheila a bunch of flowers. In this sentence, Tina gave whom bunch of flowers? Sheila. This is the first object and the indirect object. And Tina gave Sheila what? A bunch of flowers. This is the second object and the direct object. So there are many sentences that have transitive work. And they may have either one object or the both objects. Now, intransitive verbs. The verbs that do not need an object to make their complete sense are known as intransitive verbs. For example, the kite flies. In this sentence, if we ask about the object, the kite flies what? We do not get any answer. But still, it makes complete sense. Means it is a sentence that does not need any object, but still it can make its complete sense. They are known as intransitive verbs. Now there are some verbs that can be used in both transitive as well as intransitive verbs. Okay? Now, the forms of main verb. There are five forms of a main verb. They are V1, also known as present, V2, simple past, V3, past participle, V5, V5 is third person singular and V4, it is present participle. Now the forms of a verb in these forms, in these forms are, for example if we take the verb right, it is a main verb here. Its V1 will be right, V2 will be wrote, V3 will be written, V4 will be writing and V5 will be writes. From these, from this we can conclude that in V4 and V5 we add, in V4 we add ing to the verb and in V5 we add s or es. Here we added only s because the main verb is right and we have only added s here. Now if we want, now a verb that added es in it, adds es in it is go. There, are, there can be many other also but I have taken go. Go is a main verb here so its forms will be go in v1 in V2 it will be went, in V3 it will be gone, and in V4 it will be, in V4 it will be going, and in V5 it will be goes. So in goes, G O E S, we add E S, E S to the main verb. So they, in V5 we can add either S or 
add the es to the main verb but in v4 we will always add ing so friends this was the introduction to the verb and if you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel takshil yadav and if you want to watch more video just like this subscribe my youtube channel takshil yadav jai hind